Good morning, everyone. I am making rope baskets. I am making baskets. I do make floor mats. having a sale in my online store 15% off until tomorrow night you'd like this in the blue like the thin blue line making I have about 20 different styles of these small baskets online right now and I'm going to be in the next few days making and adding more styles so if you've come across my store before that's awesome um, I'm gonna be making more styles so if like a thin line collection of these small baskets is something you guys are interested in I could definitely come up with that
Yes, I live on the coast of Maine on a bridged island. Where are all of you guys from? So here's the first one. Gray and blue. Oh wow, it looks like we have a huge range across the country. My kids actually love putting these on their heads and pretending to be a robot. Put them upside down. Seattle, it's early for you. The bottom is mesh and before I ship them I put handles on and I also have a removable hardboard base so st um, small stuff can not fall out but also this mesh allows it that if you want to use it as a covering for your plant pots and stuff outside that water will easily drain out or if you take them to the beach um, you can put sandy toys in and just dip them in the water and it'll run right out. Um, it could have been, my dad does a lot of farmer's markets, so it could have been him that brought our stuff to York, or it might have been a different artisan. I got ahead of myself here. Thank you. No idea, no idea on what. What I'm making? I 
I am making rope baskets. It's made from the same rope that lobster fishermen here in Maine and uh, New England use. Um, I make them with the recycled rope as well, but this right here is new. I do have a bigger size that is uh, 16 inches in diameter and about 12 inches high. You hate the sound? You're the first one to actually say that. Most people say that this is one of those satisfying sounds, which I was also surprised about. Yes, I do melt the ends together. They are great for gifts. Um, one of my favorite. You can um, add them, use it as a gift basket, obviously. Load them up with whatever you know you want to give to a friend or a loved one. I'd heard from a customer that she gave it as a, as a, yes, I do sell them. My website is linked in my link tree in my bio. But one of my favorite stories from a customer is that her and a group of friends fill them up as gift baskets and they send them, to, send it to each other all over the country. And um, it's the same basket. The same basket travels all over the country, but with different gifts in them. Um, I replaced the pipes with the end of the rope, so it's still held in place. They would absolutely drain well. I have a lot of people that use them to put their um, like fall moms, like their plant pots inside. So you have a colorful plant planter outside. My my website is littlesaltyrope.com. It's linked in my bio and everything is 15% off right now until tomorrow night at midnight. Um these retail for $29.95, but they're 15% off right now. Thank you guys for the likes. Oh, sorry, that was my cat. Thank you guys for the gifts and the hearts. No, I'm in mid coast Maine. I live on a bridged island.
PVC pipes came from our local hardware store. How does it come off when you're finished? Like off the pipes? That's what I'm doing right now. Because I'm taking it off and I'm replacing the pipes with rope. Thank you for sharing my live. I have almost 800 of you here. Welcome and thank you for spending your morning with me. At least for a little bit. How did I... I learned to do this from my father. Um, he's a retired fisherman. Um, I used to go fishing as well. And then once I was married and we had, me and my husband had kids, you know, I couldn't really be on the boat. So I started helping my father about a year ago. And due to COVID and everything like that, we switched to online. So he handles like deliveries and going to markets and stuff like that while I do the online stuff, social media. You don't need a new hobby. I'm one of those people too. I buy craft stuff all the time and then it sits and I don't do anything with it. The East Coast is beautiful. I mean, I'm kind of partial. Um, it's a little bland and bleak in the in this winter time, but spring seems to finally be here, even though it's 30 degrees today. It's sunny and beautiful. In Hartford, is that up by Newport, or am I thinking of Heartland? I am making baskets. I'm finishing this one right now. I'll trim off the bottom extra piece. Like this. This is, um, we call it a rope cutter. Um, online I believe that they're called uh, hot knives. Would love to get sick of lobster. Yeah, that's, that kind of happens. My, my family's uh, a long line of fishermen. So any seafood, I grew up on a lot of it. So I don't eat it much anymore. But here's a teal and gray one. Uh, we don't have two different shapes. They're all round. Um, but there is a bigger size. This is our small mini basket. Perfect for kids Easter baskets and stuff like that. So later, not on, not on my live, but I'll be putting a handle in the hard base in the bottom. But here's our second one we finished, or almost finished, on live. You can barely tie a knot. It takes a lot of practice. I remember when I was a kid trying to, you know, learn all the knots. Bowlins, clove hitches. Once you get enough practice, it's like second nature, though. Thank you. Yes, I've heard that advice too. Tie it a lot. <clears throat> um, let's do... Let's do a green. Can 
Can I show a finished basket? Yeah, let me go. I'll go grab one. I'll be right back. Okay, so let's move this. Here's our purple, blue, and teal with the handles already on it. Then this is just a hard base. I do make doormats. So it's removable. But that's them with the handles. I think they're cute. My kids love them. I'm gonna make them uh, some ones with their favorite colors and give them fill them as Easter baskets. Thank you. I think that's back in frame. How do I attach the handles? I cut handles to size and then I use um, a PVC pipe that's been cut on an angle as a needle and I thread them down through like in here I thread them down through and then they're attached with stainless steel hog rings. Yes, we call this netting, we call it shrimp mesh here. It's used in lobster traps. These are baskets, so you can use them as storage, as centerpieces, um, put flowers in them, gift baskets, whatever you would use a regular, you know, basket for pretty much. Breathe deep. Am I breathing loud? I'm sorry. I just went down and up the stairs and I'm getting over a cold. Oh, are we talking about the smoke coming? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Yes, my website is in my bio in my link tree. I believe it's the first link to online storefront. These are rope baskets. Should I put a different color in the middle or should I leave this one plain green? Hmm. 
Yes, I weave in and out. Go around them, in and out. Yellow in the middle. Okay, we can do that. I think it'll work out good because the yellow I have has a little green flecks. And this green has little yellow flecks. Melt it together. Good morning. How's it on your island today? <clears throat> yeah, I like the suggestion of the yellow too. They, they go good together. Blowing, yeah, it's blowing here too. Cold. At least it feels cold. I am making lobster rope baskets. Everything I make today on live is going to be a new color combination that's not listed yet, but I'll try to have them listed in my online store by this afternoon. But I do have about 20 or 25 color combinations on there right now. This is, yes, this is the small basket. Our, um, other size one is definitely a lot bigger. I'll grab one. See, it doesn't even fit in. This is our other size. They're definitely a huge difference. Like, here we've got a small basket inside. The colors are melted together. Heat. Yes, a small would work perfect for an Easter basket.
Thank you to whoever just ordered, if you're here in the, the live stream, thank you. Thank you for the rose. Thank you. Need to figure out a better workstation. Whenever I'm pulling the rope, it's getting caught on other stuff. Hi from Malaysia. Oh wow. It's almost bedtime there, isn't it? I am located on the coast of Maine. Um, yeah, I guess it is kind of expensive. It's all relative. It seems like everything's expensive nowadays. Prices are only going up. Maine, Northeast US. Machias Port. Then you've probably seen my father down there across from Helen's. He sets up and sells stuff down there. New Hampshire is beautiful too. Before we had kids, my husband and I would always go to the mountains every winter. Now it's pretty difficult. Because it We'd always go in the winter time. It's cold here, but it's usually a lot colder there with young kids. You know, it's hard to do outside stuff. Here's the green and yellow one. See the different f color flex. They really complement each other. A thousand of you here. Wow, thank you. Thank you for the roses. It's very kind of you. I am making lobster rope baskets. How many pipes? Um, 13? Okay. 
that's a little too tight. So let's fix that up. Best TikToker ever? Me? You can't be talking about me. some blue in the middle of this one. Does anyone have any fun plans for their Saturday? Finally able to get outside after this long winter we've all been having. A lot of intriguing people. It makes them stick around a little bit longer. Bolivia, hi! Wants to play hockey. Oh, I've always wanted to. Our nearest hockey team was almost two hours away when I was growing up, so it was never really a an option. Um... Yeah, we we do retail even larger ones that are 16 in diameter by 18 inches high, but we don't have them listed online. We could definitely do that in the next few days, though. Um, a lot of our big, real, like the tall ones have been bought by people that use them for um, gear packs for ice fishing, like ice to replace their ice fishing baskets. A nephew's sixth birthday party. That's exciting. I have a six-year-old daughter. I learned to do this from my father. He learned to do it from his late brother-in-law when my when he got done working as a lobsterman. I also make rope mats, like doormats, in a variety of sizes. These are baskets. Perfect size for gift baskets or Easter baskets.
my torch is running out of butane. It's not getting as hot as it should. Thank you. I am located on the coast of Maine. I do make dog toys. Uh, I basically tie a monkey's fist knot around a tennis ball and I splice the ends and make a loop. They're, they float. They're great for, you know, outside play, going to the beach with your pup or the lake. You're from Maine, living in Minnesota. Well, here's a little piece of Maine for you on this Saturday morning. Here, we're just gonna fill up the torch. I just have this little thing, it takes butane. Fill it up now so that the fumes can evaporate before I use it again. Wouldn't want to accidentally cause a small fire. That'd be a bad start to my day, huh? Well, I guess it like, wouldn't be a start since it's after 10 a.m. here, but it'd be a bad Saturday. These are lobster rope baskets. If anyone is interested in purchasing, um, everything's 15% off right now on my website, but the sale ends tomorrow night at midnight. This is approximately eight inches in diameter and nine inches tall. Thank you for the rose. It's very kind of you. I'm in the mid coast. Um, I'm about an hour south of Ellsworth. Maybe 50 minutes, depends on the traffic and the weather. You were in Maine yesterday. What part? Southern Maine? Up north is beautiful this time of year, too. They get a lot more snow than we do. I am making a rope basket. Right now I am finishing it by taking it, replacing the pipes with rope. Thank you. Skowhegan. Yeah, we've never stopped in Skowhegan, but I've driven through it a few times. It's beautiful land down that way. Portland is pretty cool. Haven't been there that much, but it's a fun place to visit. A little too busy for me. <laughs> Grew up in a very small town. It's, it's a basket. You can use it for whatever you'd use a basket for. You can 
fill it with stuff, gift it to someone, Easter baskets, put your plant pots in them as decorations, centerpieces. Um, when I finish them, I put handles on and I put a hard base in the bottom that's removable. So you don't lose small stuff, but if you'd rather use it as a plant for plants, you know, you remove that and you have great drainage so your plants don't drown. Oh yeah, mid-afternoon on a Friday. Most people are working. In the summer though, it would be busy. No, I've never been to England. Mount Desert Island is beautiful. There are just a few islands to the east of us. I don't know if he's still here, but Lobster Mobster was in here. He's a pretty big TikToker. He's from there. But we put a royal blue in the middle with gray here. Show you how I put on the handle. Let's see if I have some cut up. Trim them. All right. Let's take this one we just made. Oh. Here's this. I use this. PVC pipe as a needle. It's cut on a slant. And I go down in. I line it up there. And then I would go down this one as well. Just stick it right in. So you have the handle. Then I use these clips. We call them hog rings here. So that's one handle, and then we come to the other side. Yes, they're, they are beautiful with a potted plant. They drain well, they hold up outside, they, they're fast drying, they hold their color. So 
So I think I have time to make one more basket and then I'm going to have to go. But here it is with that, with the handles. The weight rating for the bottom mesh. I don't know a top weight, but our larger baskets, um, these ones, these are the 16 in diameter by 12 high. I can carry around my 50 pound daughter in it and it holds up. How do you order my um, website is in my link tree in my bio. It's littlesaltyrope.com. Also, um, my 15% off sale is still active until tomorrow night at midnight. So this will be my last basket on stream. It is Saturday, so family time. Do blue. Thank you for the rose. I definitely appreciate it. Thank you for sharing my live as well. I appreciate it. Um, last time I went live, a lot of people asked um, how to see the replay. So I'm going to start uploading my lives to YouTube. That link is also in my bio and under my link tree. Um, sometimes it's a little hard to follow because you can't see the chat, but I usually, if there's questions, I try to repeat them before I answer them. Um, maybe in a few weeks I can start doing YouTube lives and more YouTube videos. My life has just been kind of busy lately, but that's my goal is more vlog style. Thank you for all the new followers. A lot of people say it's relaxing to watch. Oh, thank you so much for the well wishes. Been trying to grow as best as I can. This is polypropylene rope. I'm using. I'm making a basket. the base. Yes. This is a removable hardboard base. And this is mesh, so if you need it for drainage for a plant pot, you have it. It's great. And that goes right in the bottom and helps keep all your small stuff safe.
I also make welcome mats in a variety of sizes. They're great for outside, fast drying, easy to clean, mildew resistant. They don't hold water. Salty. We live on the coast of Maine and the air, it has like that crisp, cool, salty feeling to it. Are you asking if the baskets themselves smell? No. They do not. The base on that this is installed on, it is an old office chair, so it spins. I'm assuming he's trying to figure out how to do this himself. That's why he's got so many questions. Where do I buy my rope? I buy my rope from commercial fishing stores. I place very large bulk orders. Yes, Derek, that's what I'm assuming. That's why he has so many questions. Hello, Manuel. How are you today? You've arrived just in time to see me finish this last basket I'm making on stream. Yeah, he's sending it a lot. I see that. Thank you. Yeah, I believe I did take care of it, so you can't spam anymore. I've never had to mute anyone before, so it took me a minute to figure it out. Oh, thank you so much for staying and watching. Glad you enjoyed.
I do make uh, two different sizes. Currently I only have the one regular si other size listed. So I have these small baskets and I have a 16 inch in diameter by 12 inch high. I buy the rope from commercial fishing stores in bulk, very large bulk orders. Um, my last delivery was almost $20,000 US. This is not the only type of thing I make. I also make dog toys and I make welcome mats. What is my favorite one? Um, hold on. I have a mat made in that color combination. I'll show you. So this is one of the mats. It's not really focusing that well on camera, but um, the story behind this one is at one point I was working out of my kitchen, like I took over my dining room and I was making them there last winter. And before bed, my daughter would always ask to make a rug and she was five at, five at the time. So she would grab different ropes she would, you know, weave them in and out the best she could. And obviously, being five, it, it was nowhere near, you know, what it was supposed to be. But she would go to bed, and after she went to sleep, I would always finish the, be the rug for her. Like, I would take it all apart and, you know, use the same colors she did and make her a mat. So in the morning when she would wake up, she would see it. So this was one I had come up with, with the colors she had used. So that is probably my favorite one. And we have it listed and it is honestly probably our number two seller. And she's the one that basically designed it. So that's pretty special to me and my, probably my favorite one. uneven pipes. <laughs> Cecil twisted rope would probably work too. Um, it's not as long lasting, but you could definitely use it. Oh, thank you. I'm glad you like that story. Don't change the pipes. You know what? You either love them or you hate them, right? a rope basket. It's my last one I'm making on stream. Hopefully I can go live, find the time to go live again in the next couple of days. Thank you. Um, I've never made an oval shape. I probably could if I made a new jig. 
from to hold my pipes. use them as a clamp basket sure um they're easy to clean so i don't see why not i have not put handles on these ones yet but here is one that does have handles i'll probably just do handles you know later this afternoon well thank you so much i'm glad you found me Why what? So here's the last one we've made. This is probably one of my top favorite color combinations, too. Oh, thank you for the balloons, Catherine. It's very nice of you. Thank you. Glad you like these. So I want to thank all of you for sticking around with me. Um, I hope you all have a great day, and hopefully I'll see you soon in the next few days. We'll do another stream, maybe make rope mats next time. Bye.